want to ask you about recruiting. You, you've been known for a long time as one of the top recruiters in college football. You've landed some huge talent. Uh, you dominate the Bay Area. Right? You, you kind of that, that's kind of your base of recruiting, from what I've seen from the outside. What's your philosophy when it comes to recruiting? You identify a guy that you want. Like, what are the steps you're taking to build the relationship and try to get him at your, your right. program? Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, it was never my goal. Um, you know, and I think that's a little bit out of my choice as far as um, being known or having a a, um, a recruiting reputation. You know, I would yeah. be the greatest coach at what I do. Um, uh, what I found early, um, and and again, going back to learning from players, um, not necessarily always coaches, but, you know, I played at the University of California, and at that time, um, Aaron Rodgers was my quarterback. Um, you know, one of my best friends from... Chase Lyman, my roommate, Jeff MacArthur, the, you know, the stable of running backs we had, um, Marshawn Lynch, um, Deshaun Jackson at receiver, our offensive line, pretty much the entire crew went to the National Football League. Um, I figured out really early, good players, you know, kind of correlate to some success mm-hmm. and um, always thought, felt, you know, found it odd how some coaches um, don't understand that, you know, um, so... I think if if you can combine elite coaching, elite preparation with elite players, you know ultimately that's what creates championship organizations. And that was something again re- really reconfirming for myself. Um, going off to the SEC, going to Alabama for five seasons, that was uplifting, exciting. It almost got to the point where um, I had heard as a young coach, you know, of you know you got to be careful of recruiting so well. Because you get the reputation, and if you want to be a D coordinator, if you want to be a head coach, um, you know, you're going to get the, the reputation of being a recruiter, you know, rather than a coach. And, um, you know, just like I coach pass rush, for example, and run defense, I don't believe you can only be good at one thing. I think you can, you know, if you have the same approach and attack, you can start to be really good at, at both, perhaps. And that was my mission on the early, um, early quest. And immediately we found results. Um, you know, and, and had some success of, uh, coaching, um, at a high level, um, and recruiting at a high level. So, you know, uh, to this day, it's the same philosophy of, we want to, we want to sign the best players humanly possible. And then we want to coach them extremely hard and prepare them very well and develop them, you know, for the next level. So, um, to, to answer your question ultimately is the same approach I have on preparation um, on our defensive meeting this morning, on the attention to detail of our walkthrough this morning in the indoor on a bye week. Um, we don't call it a bye week. We call it a growth week. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the same exact approach in recruiting. You know, um, I called an individual that we want to sign um, that's announcing here soon. Um, you know, uh, in between my walkway to the lunch, I called him. I called his grandfather. I called his mother, you know, and that's that involves effort. It's not easy. It's not convenient. You know, it takes away from uh, the family that I love to come home to every day. But it's also, you know, something that's important that I want to coach the best players in the country. And, and, and um, I want to coach them at a high level. So if we can combine that, um, again, that puts us in position that, that we could accomplish what we all want to do in the end. And that's, you know, win championships, prepare these young men, um, you know, for the National Football League as well as ensure that they're going to get their degree and be a contributing member in society. 